this would have given him a chance at recovery and living to his full potential. That woman's brother committed suicide. Now he could have received the help he needed from a new law that took effect just today in the county. New at 7, Team 10's Melissa Masiha shows how families now have the power to do something before it's too late. The law began with Laura Wilcox, shot and killed in Nevada County in 2001 by a man with an untreated mental illness. Now San Diego County joins seven other counties in the state, you see them there in red, that has either approved or fully implemented Laura's law. If it helps one person, it would be well worth all the effort. Harold Walks lost his schizophrenic son to mental illness. He spent the last couple years fighting for Laura's law. Now that supervisors have voted to implement it. Very, very relieved. Laura's law would allow for assisted outpatient treatment ordered by court for the severely mentally ill. It's for a specific group of people, those 18 years and older, with a history of hospitalizations, jail time, or violent threats. A family legally could petition, yes. There's Teresa Bish's brother also suffered from schizophrenia. It could have saved him from the standpoint that it would have given him hope. He was in and out of jail before committing suicide. Would have given him a chance at recovery and living to his full potential. Would it have given you hope? Oh, absolutely. Getting people whose families are in crisis the help they need earlier so it doesn't turn into a tragic event. Tuesday, the board passed Laura's law three to one with Supervisor Bill Horn voting no. He told Team 10 in a statement, it's a slippery slope once you start taking away adults' rights and handing them to a judge. He believes forcing someone to receive help is not a long-lasting solution. Melissa Masiha, Team 10. And here is the bottom line on this new law. It would cost about $2.3 million to implement Laura's law here in San Diego. It will be funded through the Mental Health Services Act. That means no new tax dollars. There's enough funding to help 114 people in the county. And advocates say the cost of the program is more efficient than throwing people in jail.